be ready 5 seconds sir we all know that india is a democratic country and our democracy is mature that is why way back in 1950 we included fundamental rights in our constitution so if we see the constitution of india article 19 provides for freedom of speech and expression the word expression means it is a right to express or not to express so if we enforce compulsory voting then it goes against the mandate of article 19 of the constitution of india which specifically provides that it is within the sweet will of the individual and the right to vote or not to vote is a fundamental right of the citizen at the same time if we also see article 21 of the constitution of india it says that no person shall be deprived of his life and liberty except in accordance with law when we see the word liberty liberty includes the right to vote and not to vote it includes both so it cannot be enforced in view of the mandate of fundamental rights which have been provided under articles 19 and 21 of the constitution if such a law is enacted then it will not withstand the tide of judicial scrutiny before the court of law sir if we see article 326 of the constitution of india it is provided that any citizen can register himself as a voter he has a right to register himself as a voter but it is not a duty to register himself as a voter no duty has been cast under article 326 of the constitution it is an option available to the citizen of india he can either register himself as a voter or he need not register himself as a voter therefore in my view such a law cannot be enacted by parliament so at the most if we want to increase the percentage of voting then certain incentives may be provided by the government by making a provision under mgn rega pds etc but if a citizen did not cast his vote on that count also he cannot be denied these facilities so such a law also cannot be enacted we can only persuade the voters and such type of persuasion is possible by providing political education apart from this we can do one more thing because in rural and urban areas we are applying the same yardstick the election commission is required to see it in the urban areas where the distance from the polling booth is very less the polling booth should be installed on the basis of the number of voters normally in one polling booth around 1000 to 1200 voters are there so the same yardstick cannot be applied with respect to the rural areas where the distance from polling booth is sometimes 10 kilometers 11 kilometers they are poor people and they do not have proper communication they do not have 
transport system in the rural areas. Therefore, the election commission is required to see to it that at least in the rural areas we must have more polling booths. Here I would like to make a suggestion. Suppose in one Lok Sabha constituency the number of booths are 2500 and instead of doing anything more if they increase the number of booths to four times then nothing more is required. Automatically the percentage of voting would increase. Only on account of lack of communication and lack of transport the voting percentage is very poor. This is the main reason more people do not go for voting. So sometimes we see that the voting is 35%, 40%, 45%, 50%. Now, these days, voting percentage has increased. Due to political education, it has increased to 60% or sometimes even to 70%. So, even in the rural areas where a particular concentration is more, then in that particular booth, we see more percent of voting. But where the distance from booth is more, the percentage of voting is very poor. Secondly, if you want to see transparency in the electoral process, then more number of polling booths are required. Otherwise, the candidate, on the basis of his money power, can provide more vehicles and fetch more votes. Therefore, in the rural areas at least, the number of polling booths should be increased. The distance from the polling booths should not be more than 2 kilometers, so that every voter can exercise his right to franchise. So, this modality can be adopted and this reform can be introduced by the Election Commission. Sir, apart from this, this issue has also arisen a number of times before the Supreme Court. The same issue also came up before this August House with respect to the compulsory voting. This matter went before the Supreme Court and even before the Gujarat High Court. The matter was agitated there and it was finally decided that right to vote cannot be converted into duty to vote. There is a difference. Once it is done, then it would contravene the mandate of Articles 19 and 21 of the Constitution of India and it would go against the fundamental right. Sir, we are a democratic country and in my view such types of rights cannot be enforced. So, this bill cannot be passed by this house. Apart from this, when this bill came up before Parliament in 1950, this issue was debated. And even the constitutional framer, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, opposed it and said that compulsory voting cannot be introduced in the Representation of People's Act. So, it was rejected by Parliament on the grounds that there are so many practical difficulties and so it cannot be implemented. At the same time, thereafter, in 1990, the Goswami Committee was constituted and they also rejected the idea of compulsory voting. Again, in 2001, the NCRWC Committee 
was constituted on electoral reforms and they also rejected this move of compulsory voting. 